Cooper Marchi here. Who says that cats can't express gratitude for everything you do for them? Juno the cat shows her appreciation every day by bringing gifts to her owner. However, Juno wasn't always like that. Her journey began, began when she and her siblings were abandoned by their feral mother. Fortunately, a woman named Connie saw a post about the kittens. Without hesitation, she decided to adopt the tuxedo kitten named Juno. But little did she know the challenges that awaited her. As time went by, Juno's behavior took a turn for the worse. She became aggressive, constantly biting and scratching everyone in the family, even the innocent family dog. Connie recalled, she would scratch and attack. I had bite marks and claw marks all over my legs. Juno's aggressive behavior became so severe that Connie's husband contemplated getting rid of her, especially because of her interactions with the family dog and their daughter. Worried and unsure how to handle Juno, Connie sought advice from the vet. He acknowledged that there were behavioral issues, but assured Connie that Juno would eventually grow out of it. Unfortunately, that day never seemed to arrive until Juno ventured outside. Connie started allowing Juno outside under supervision, and miraculously, things began to change for the better. Connie said, for some reason, that kind of relaxed her eagerness to want to jump and attack. Within six months, she became an easier cat to be around. Recognizing the positive impact of outdoor activities, Connie officially let Juno become an indoor-outdoor cat. Soon after Juno started her outdoor adventures, something unexpected occurred. Connie began noticing various items appearing in her backyard, such as children's toys, gloves, clothes, and more. To her surprise, the real culprit turned out to be Juno herself. Connie said, I heard this meowing and I looked and she had grabbed a pair of baby infant leggings through the pet door and down the hall. That's when I realized all that stuff was coming into our house and to our yard were being brought to us by her. It was as if Juno realized that Connie had always been kind to her and as an expression of gratitude and affection, she started bringing random items from the neighborhood. Cats often bring objects to their owners to show their love and affection or to proudly display their catches, and Juno was no different. Every time Juno brought something home, she would meow loudly to an announce her special gifts, Connie added. The louder the meow, the prouder she was. Juno seemed to have no limits when it came to her choice of gifts, taking whatever she fancied. What surprised Connie the most was that no one from the neighborhood ever inquired about their lost items. She said, at one time, I loaded all the stuff in, in the wagon and went door to door asking any of the, all the neighbors about them. Only one neighbor said he had thrown a reflective safety vest in the trash and that she had taken it out of the trash. Juno's desire to make her owners happy turned her into a klepto kitty. <laughs> and over time, she brought home over 1,700 objects. <laughs> However, this unusual behavior didn't stop people from loving her. Juno became a beloved figure in the community and raised awareness about keeping their surroundings clean. Connie remarked most of, the, most of them have enjoyed seeing what she brings home and said that she's been helping them clean the community up with her act. And if a cat can do this, why can't humans? Thanks to Juno, the community has many different plans to keep the community clean and help those in need. She, since becoming an indoor-outdoor cat, Juno has undergone a remarkable transformation. She's become more independent while remaining cautious when outside. On bad weather days, she prefers to stay indoors, cuddling in one of her favorite spots. Connie describes Juno as a compassionate kitty who has helped her through many challenges. She lovingly said, She may bring lots of gifts home to me, but she's my special gift. Indeed. Cooper Marchi here. Ciao.